the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Styles and Rosenberg. Yo, JV Smooth. JV Smooth is on Ebro, Laura Rosenberg. Good morning. He's at Caroline's. Caroline's back in business. Yo, JB, talk about talk about post pandemic being back on the stage, man, right on Broadway at Caroline's, and, and what that means, man. Because I know it's tough for a lot of a lot of the stand ups. Yeah, it's, it's tough, man. We we are all getting getting our you know our footing now back into the stand up world. Uh, that includes the travel. That includes trying to eat late at night. That includes trying to get on stage. That includes trying to get up in the morning. All that comes a big part of of getting back on stage and making sure we are safe. Um, the clubs are trying to be safe as possible. You know, I will say one thing. It's a little different because, you know, in, in the theaters I've done so far, I've only done two so far, and I was off for a year and a half, but, you know, the, the mask, you can't read people's face. Oh, what that's they, tough. What they yeah, like yeah, it. that's hard. Yeah, you can't, you can't see expressions, you know? Mm. And, the, and the laughter is muffled a little bit. So it's a different feel, you know? we, we got to use our natural instincts as comedians to kind of, plow through and just have fun and um folks are just eager to get out man so we're, Do you, we're happy to accommodate jb are you a are you a guy who wants to talk about and does anything on the on the on covid on the vaccine on the mass etc or do you avoid it you know I, I don't avoid it but you know me man i'm kind of in the moment kind of guy you know but i don't focus on it because i think we all are living through it we had lost through it and, and and i think it's one of those things where we we, we know it's here you know mm. and, and we know we all been through it but I, I don't i don't really focus on it i didn't write material based on it but you do write based on your experience being locked up in the house right you know with your, your significant other your kids you know what i mean you, you got things that you're dealing with that everybody is dealing with but not the same way you're dealing with all right but you, you gotta gi you gotta give us a hint though in that in that same vein Last, uh, when, when COVID started, you got, remember, I had just seen you at the Curb Your Enthusiasm yeah. premiere, right? Curb, yeah. Curb premiered, and and then COVID hit. And I remember one of the first things people said was like, oh, man, we would love to see Curb Your Enthusiasm's take on COVID. So the question is, can we expect to see you guys get into some of those things on this upcoming season of Curb? And you know damn well, I can't tell you that. Ah. Oh, you know, no, but, but on the real though, you, you know, I, I watch the show as a fan also. So you know me, I shoot my scenes. I tell you all the time, I shoot my joints. I go home because by the time it airs, I, I want to be able to Yeah, you don't even know what's about to happen. Yeah. Some of the cast members watch the whole season. You know, they, they, they want to see how it came out. Me, you know, I just want to do my joint. I jet. I don't want to know all the special guests. I don't want to know nothing. So, you know, I'm, I'm anticipating, hey, I'm waiting to see me, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, do we have a date? Has a yeah, date Kirby, it's October 24th, right, JB? Yeah, the 24th. Yeah, the 24th, man. Uh, it's going to be spectacular, man, as, as as always. We had a blast doing it, man. You know, as the, as the promo says, man, the world has changed and yeah. Larry hasn't. So, it's... it's, it's <laughs> it's gonna be fun, man. Yo, your your relationship uh, with Mr. Larry David, uh, I would love to hear more about it. There was actually also something. Didn't Larry David scream on somebody out in the Hamptons yeah, yeah. over the summer or something? Uh, Alan Dershowitz. Yeah, that's right. The, the lawyer dude. Him and Alan was getting to it back and forth. Like when when did does Larry openly talk about? crazy stuff like do y'all have conversations about the stuff or does larry you know what's that relationship between you and him like you know I, I think it's one of those things where you know i think somehow the universe works in a, in, a, in a particular way and i think it puts certain projects certain people certain uh things in your life that are needed at that mm. time you know and, and i think i think he needed on the show uh, on the show if I go with the show and Larry, because there's two Larrys, there's TV Larry and there's real Larry. So each Larry has his own his own thing. You know what I mean? Right. So you got to know how to. You know, it's like this. It's like you know, you you, you got to deal with both Larrys. You That's know what right. I mean? So yeah, because they they are personality. And, and same thing with, my, with with myself. You know, I'm I'm not Leon all damn day. I don't, I don't wear a damn do rag. You know. <laughs> Goddamn flip flops, and roll with no So damn wait, you mean roll. to tell me you don't dress like that all the time, JP? I'm sure. No, no, I'm sure man. people come to the show and they expect to see that, though. Hey, people. People think people. Yeah, they do. They love it. They freaking love the show. They love me. They love Larry. 
So naturally, they would come to feel that cadence and something about <laughs> behind the show. So, so yes, man, you know, it, it is one of those things where um, at this point, man, from being on the show from season six to season 11, you know, we, we, we have developed a friendship and, and we have a, a on-camera friendship and an off-camera friendship. So, you know, it is one of those things where we kind of know our tendencies, we kind of know each other uh, to this point. I know what to ask Larry. I know what to not ask Larry. I think, I think you got you to gotta know yeah. our personality. Yeah, that's work, right. You know what I mean? So, uh, yes, we, we get along big time, man. And, of course, we talk about everything, man, basic life stuff, you know. Um, and, but that's that's what it but is. There, but know? there's a real friendship there outside of work, which is There's funny. a real friendship yeah. there, man. And, and, yes, man, he, we talk on the phone off, off, uh, off season and all that good stuff, man. I get invited to events and cool stuff with him. You know, man, you know how many rich people, houses I've been to? Just like, damn, how y'all doing it? <laughs> uh, how much, how, how, um, how life changing is it though? I mean, you know, you've, you've always been a working professional comic and actor, like so many people who work super hard in this business and have success and had success in the business. But when you stumble into a role like this, or not even stumble, you earn your way into a role like this that now lasts year after year after year and will last forever. I mean, your kids. Your whole family will eat for a long time because of this situation. How much does that change your life when you end up on a show like that? It must have been incredible. You know what? It, it does. But the, the cool thing about me is, you know, I, I've had an amazing, amazing, blessed journey in this business, man. Only because, you know, I, I get up early, I work late. And sometimes I stay so damn late, but I'm early again. See? So, but... <laughs> But, but but that's that's just me, man. I'm I'm 30 something years, almost 31, 32 years in the business, and you know, and I'm the tortoise, man. I'm just I just move, you know, from film to TV, you know, to commercials. To oh, your voice is everywhere. Movie. Your voice in a lot of commercials. Yeah, Yo, anima JB. animation. Shh. Animation has become that was the thing to do during the pandemic was animation. I did like four or five different animated shows wow. uh, and movies because I'm able to sit at home with my microphone and I can record at home. So I, I tell, and as I told a lot of my friends starting out in the business uh, years ago, I said, man, try to vary your stuff, try to move around so that by the time, if, if anything should happen and you need to be able to tap into another genre, you can do that, you know? And we are comedians, so we com communicate on a broad uh, spectrum of places, you know, you know, like you said, the, the voiceover work, commercials, you know, TV, film, you know, I, I'm, I'm just happy to be busy, happy to be able to, uh, you know, I, I lend my voice to so many things, man, and and most of the stuff I'm passionate about, so that's a good thing. What's the commercial I'm, sure I'm hearing these I'm, days? I'm give you what you want. What's the commercial yeah. these days where I'm hearing your voice a lot? There's there's one that's very active right now. Oh, oh, the Caesars. I'm, I'm Caesar. Oh, I'm yeah, Caesar. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm Caesar for, for the Caesar Sports Book. Oh, and, yeah, MGM, yeah, yeah, right? That's the MGM joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, and, you know, of course I'm not damn Caesar, Caesar. But I think, <laughs> you know, it, it's about the energy you give to the character. You know, I feel like I could be in front of a, a whole stadium full of people back in them days telling them what to do and telling them how life works and, and you know... <laughs> I could be in the arena for Titans, you know? Uh, or whatever, you know? Why not, man? I think, you know, life is too fun, man. And, and it's too short to, to you know, to uh, not um, um, enjoy it, man, and, and not focus on what we all need in this time and in our lives is laughter, fun, um, opportunities, and things like that, man. You think, you think you're motivated. Uh... You think your New York Knicks are going to bring you any joy this year, JB? I think it's a great time. Let me tell you something, man. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's going to be great, man. I said when Kimba first came, became available, I told all my friends, we need to jump on Kimba. We let Kimba go all the way to Boston. You know what I mean? We should have jumped on her, man, when we had a chance. See, you got to build a nucleus. You got to build rhythm. You, you, you got to get used to each other, man. It takes yeah. time to build chemistry, man. And it's going to be a great season, but I, I think two years from now, the Knicks are going to really start to build chemistry because they got to learn how to play together. 
And I wish we had got Kimber two years two years ago. Yep. I wish we had got Kimber when he first was available and not let him drive past us uh, and, and go straight to damn Boston. We, we should have got him. Knicks made he the playoffs. Come through here. Knicks made he, the... He, he had to come through here to get to Boston. Did Knicks make the playoffs last year? Yes. Yeah, they did, right? You remember the whole Trey yeah, Young that's Hawks right, thing? Young. There, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's time. right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, that's a great. They, they got some momentum, man. You no, know, no, quickly, good, quickly and, 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 now. And, and, yeah. I, I always say, give the fans something so we can have fun and something to root for until we got something to root for. You know what I'm saying? Right. Get people in the building and get that passion yeah. in the city. Um, Rock it out, man. Let us be there having fun. Win or lose, let us have fun, man. JB Smooth is down there at the Carolines. Uh, it's this weekend, right, ladies and gentlemen? Right? It's going down yeah. this weekend. All this weekend. Thursday. All this weekend. Yep. Thursday, two Friday, two Saturday, one Sunday, man. Back on stage, baby. Enjoying the process. Enjoying getting back in the gym, man. This is all building for everybody, man. Uh, our comfortability, you know, us being on stage, you being in the audience. This, this is what we are. Working together so we can all laugh and have a good time, man, and get out the house a little bit. So, yo, JB, before we wrap today, you know the big controversy and discussions for, against, anger, blah 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 about the Chappelle stand up. You studied comedy for a long time. Have you ever seen this much controversial noise around a stand up or a special before? You know, this is nothing new, man, for the comedians, man. You start going back to, you know, the. There were comedians who were getting arrested off stage, man, back back in the days, because the world wasn't ready for uh, outspoken comedians. But I, I say this much, man, about where we are right now. We we have to be very very careful, man. Um, it, this is truly uh, art, like poetry is an art. You know, there are poets out there who speak their mind, who speak real, who speak real. You know, and there are comedians who do the same thing. We we are we provide a level of poetry. You know, we take your mind away from the direct brunt of the world and we give our take on it. That's not, we don't leave the stage doing the same thing as we did on stage. We, we, we have lives, we got kids, we got wives, we got things to take care of, real things that are not us who are on stage. But I say this, we have to be very careful in how the world, where the world is going because, you know, people, people are, uh, Definitely speaking out about Dave's special. But here's the thing you gotta look out for. What's gonna happen if actors who portray someone in a movie who, who is someone who hates every every person, every genre, racist, um, gender, everything, are we gonna uh, attack them and they can't win Oscars? Number two, what happens to the people in the audience laughing when the camera spins her off the comedian mm. into the audience? Do you get fired for crying laughing at something that offends somebody? We got to be very careful in the movement of, of what the world is and put it in the right category, man. We, we go on that stage to make people happy. We don't go on that stage to make people sad. I promise you, it's not, it's not our intention. But you got to be careful in how far this goes because if that camera turns around and catch you laughing, do you get fired tomorrow? Mm. It's a lot. You get fired for laughing your ass off. We gotta be careful how far we're gonna go with this. We really can't. We, we can't just if the camera's just on the comedian, right? And it never spins around, and you hear all that laughter. Is someone watching and saying, "Who the hell's laughing? Well, who's laughing who's at laughing? these jokes?" Yeah, they would never. The too? Archie. No. That funny? That, that's funny to you, right? See, and, and we gotta be careful how far we go with this. We gotta be very careful, man, because. It is, it is. Well, and that's the, but see, some is. people. Laughter is from the heart first. It's from the heart. It really is. You got to love getting up there. You got to love giving it up. And, and every style is different. Now, JB, you know? I just want to, I just want to throw into this though. While we're having this, some people, there's, there's something known as not getting the joke. Some jokes, I, that, some that, jokes, some jokes go over people's heads. Some people are too sensitive to see yes. the humor in something that's sensitive. Like that's a yeah. There are people right that's now who if they, if they saw Archie Bunker, they wouldn't laugh. They think it was offensive. Absolutely. They'd be like, "We need Archie Bunker off yeah. TV." Right. You gotta be. That's why I say you gotta be careful, man. Society's going in a different direction right now, and we really have to be ground ourselves back into what the purpose. Uh, well, I think I think that's why Dave's exactly. I think that's why Dave's close of the special was 
was poignant for me, where he spoke about empathy. And he spoke because it there's a lack of trust amongst too many different groups. And so there's when you it, you have to have trust to be able to make jokes. And, you have to have it. And you when and when that it. trust is lost, like a lot of the problems we have in society, people don't trust that people's intentions are pure. Yes, man. They, they we. I promise you, man. There is the real news on TV, and then there is the comedian's take on the news. There are people who cannot stand watching the news. It's too much for them. It's too much. They rather wait and don't watch the news and turn on the late night guys and watch them do their monologue and just get a little smile on their face before they close their eyes and take their ass to sleep. Right. That's just what it is. And I know people like that who can't who can't take the world world from a direct hit from the world. Right. They, can't they, they need the comedic spin. Because they've been spin. through enough yeah. in their life already. Yeah. yeah. They've been through enough in their life and they, they don't want to watch nobody else get killed and nobody else get hurt or nobody else get robbed. They, they can't take it because it's, the world is too complex for them. They have to hear it from another voice coming in their ear. And it makes it soothe, it's soothing sometimes to see that we are all the same. We are all on the same planet. We, we're not coming from different places. We all are dealing with the same yep. thing yep. at the same damn time That's right, in our yeah. timeline. We're all on the same timeline, right? Yeah. So we, we have to deal with each other. It's just about, it's about trust. It's about trust. It's it really, about it really is, man. Yeah, man. You got to trust the process. You got to trust the process. You need to laugh, I promise you. If you're going to get straight news every day, straight, you have it straight every day, you're going to be abrasive, you're going to see the world different, and you're going to be so protective that, that you don't want to be around people, you don't want to hear anything, you don't wear earbuds, because you can't take it. You know, and, and I think we need to reel it in a little bit, trust the process, like you guys said, enjoy life, enjoy what, enjoy the differences that we have. In one another, you know what I'm saying? There it is. So, JB Smooth, I, 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 ladies I'm and praying, gentlemen. I'm praying we get there. Yeah, JB Smooth is at Caroline's. Make sure you go check him this weekend. It's good to see you, sir. Thank you for your time. And today. Curb is back hey, man, October 24th. Love you, good, man. love you too, I'll brother. See you guys Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, man. I love you all. Hi, JB. Right, Peace, care. brother. <laughs> Turn next season, baby. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs>